In computer programming, lazy initialization is the tactic of delaying the creation of an object, the calculation of a value, or some other expensive process until the first time it is needed. This is typically accomplished by augmenting a variable's access a method to check for a previously created instance. If none exists a new instance is created, placed into the variable, and this new object is returned to the caller in a just-in-time fashion. In this manner object creation is deferred until first use which can, in some circumstances, increase system responsiveness and speed startup by bypassing large-scale object pre-allocation. In multi-threaded code, access to lazy initialized object state must be synchronized to guard against a race condition. See lazy evaluation for a general treatment of this idea. In heavily imperative languages this pattern carries hidden dangers, as does any programming habit that relies on shared state. The lazy factory, in a software design pattern view, lazy initialization is often used together with a factory method pattern. This combines three ideas, using a factory method to get instances of a class, store the instances in a map, so you get the same instance the next time you ask for an instance with same parameter, using lazy initialization to instantiate the object the first time it is requested. Examples equals act a in script 3 equals the following is an example of a class with lazy initialization implemented in act a in script basic usage equals c equals in c lazy evaluation would normally be implemented inside a single function or a single source file using static variables in a function using a single source file instead allows the state to be shared between multiple functions while still hiding it from non-related functions, fruit h, fruit c, main c, equals c equals, in .NET 4.0 Microsoft has included a lazy class that can be used to do lazy loading. Below is some dummy code that does lazy loading of class fruit. Here is a dummy example in c. The fruit class itself doesn't do anything here. The class variable types dictionary is a dictionary map used to store fruit instances by type name. A fairly straightforward fill in the blanks example of a lazy initialization design pattern, except that this uses an enumeration for the type. Equals C equals, here is an example in C. Equals Java equals, here is an example in Java. Output. Number of instances made equals 1, banana. Number of instances made equals 2, banana, apple. Number of instances made equals 2, banana, apple. Equals JavaScript equals, here is an example in JavaScript. Output. Number of instances made, 1, apple. Number of instances made, 2, apple, banana. Number of instances made, 2, apple, banana equals php equals here is an example of lazy initialization in 5 philippine pesos equals python equals here is an example in python equals ruby equals here is an example in ruby of lazily initializing an authentication token from a remote service like google the way that a auth token is cached is also an example of memoization equals small talk equals here is an example in small talk of a typical accessor method to return the value of a variable using lazy initialization. The non-lazy alternative is to use an initialization method that is run when the object is created and then use a simpler accessor method to fetch the value. Note that lazy initialization can also be used in non-object oriented languages. Equals Scala equals, Scala has built-in support for lazy variable initiation. See also, double-checked locking, Lazy loading, proxy pattern, singleton pattern. References External links, article Java Tip 67, Lazy Instantiation, Balancing Performance and Resource Usage by Philip Bishop and Nigel Warren, Java Code Examples, Use Lazy Initialization to Conserve Resources, Description from the Portland Pattern Repository, Lazy Initialization of Application Server Services, Lazy Inheritance in JavaScript. Lazy inheritance in C.